I baptize thee, having authority from the Almighty God, as a testimony that ye have entered into a covenant to serve him. This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. My dear brothers, and sisters in Jesus Christ. Imagine you have started a new job somewhere or started something new and right at the beginning without you have done anything at all. The boss says to you, my dear man, you are good worker. You are really good person. I like you. The boss is appreciating and encouraging in a very soft way. The intention of the boss, we do not know. But the appreciation really leads to future to do great works. In today's gospel, we hear something similar. God the Father is speaking, You are my son, the beloved. In you I am well pleased. Even before Jesus doing anything in public, even before Jesus giving his first sermon, even before doing the first miracle, even before healing the first disease, Jesus Christ gets great affirmation from God the Father. You are my beloved son. This shows a greater sign of unconditional love of God the Father. The same love we can experience and it is clearly evident in infant baptism. What a infant baby can do? What do they achieve? Nothing. Yes, even before doing anything, even before we speak, God the Father had spoken to us and accepted each one of us as his beloved children. This is the mystery and the truth that is hidden in baptism. Through baptism, God the Father is accepting us as His children and affirms and we are becoming the children of God. And also, we are becoming the members of the Catholic Church. Jesus is the Son of God and He is sent by God. For this, we don't want any kind of affirmation. Even then, in the baptism of Jesus Christ, God the Father affirms and says, He is my beloved Son. Every person who is born on earth is a child of God. And through our baptism, we are affirmed by God as His children. We are really the children of God with this hope and trust we need to live. Let us try to share God's love with each other. May God bless you all. Amen. <laughs>